This is a new feature available only if you have Clip Studio Paint version 4.0. This technique will be especially useful for those of you who want to create illustrations or comics with precise perspective and complex character poses. I think you no longer need to bother preparing visualizations of all sides of your comic characters. Let's get started and learn how to use it. First, we need to import a 3D model. You can access it from the Material tab on the right. To import a model, simply drag and drop it from the Material folder to the canvas. Clip Studio Paint provides various free models, or you can add your own models. For the Drawing on 3D Objects feature, you can only apply it to primitive 3D models and 3D Drawing Figure version 2 for now. Therefore, since I will demonstrate this to you, I will use this 3D Drawing Figure version 2. Just drag and drop it onto your canvas. Before starting to draw on the 3D object, let's adjust the character's body proportions. You can adjust them by clicking on the Settings tab of the 3D object. Here, I will set the height and body shape first. When you're done, just click the cross on the Settings menu. Next, we'll start drawing on the object. The first step, delete the ruler on this 3D object layer by going to the layer, right-clicking on the ruler option, and selecting Delete Ruler. After that, because we will draw the front view first to make our drawing look symmetrical, we will use a new ruler called the Symmetry Ruler. Create a new symmetry line exactly in the middle of the 3D model character. Once finished, we can start drawing. You can start drawing on the 3D object using any brush and any color. Here, because I want to use the 3D object functionally as a storyboard, I will use the pen I usually use for making line art. Remember, you can undo and erase your drawings on the 3D object, but you cannot use transform to rotate or move your lines. If you're satisfied with the front view, you can rotate the 3D object to draw other features of the head. However, don't forget to turn off the symmetry ruler if you are not drawing the front view. This feature is useful for visualizing several things that comic creators often forget to add, such as tattoos, moles, scars, earrings, and other details. In my case, I designed a character with a beard, so I used the airbrush spray to draw it. You can also add details to the ears, jaw, Adam's apple, collarbones, and even muscles. I didn't draw muscle details on my character model because I think during my comics progression, there won't be any scenes where the muscles need to be shown, so I don't feel the need to. My suggestion, you can also add hairlines to the model to make it easier when drawing your character's hair later. Create the hairline on the model by re-enabling the symmetry ruler to keep the right and left sides even. If you feel satisfied with your drawing results, you can save this object as a new model by clicking the Save Material feature. Save it with a file name you want and place it in an easily accessible tab. Then, if you want to use the model you have drawn, just drag and drop it onto the canvas and you're done. Now, your 3D model character has a face, which you can trace to make line art for your comic. It will be even better if you prepare several expressions of your model character so that when making storyboards later, you don't have to bother adding notes about expressions. The advantage of applying this feature is that you can adjust the pose however you like, making it easier for you to draw perspectives, especially when making comics later. Now I will show you how I create a storyboard using the 3D model I made earlier. Here. I have prepared some panels and dialogues already on the canvas. I just need to add the character storyboard according to the script I have written. For example, in this episode, it's the first appearance of the character Zenon. 
so I try to reveal his face gradually with a full face reveal in the final panel. Just drag and drop the 3D object onto the panel you want, then adjust the pose as you like. You can change the pose of your character by the same method. Simply drag and drop the pose onto the 3D character object already on the canvas. Next, you can adjust the camera for dramatic scenes in your comic. You can also adjust the lighting of your 3D object to determine the shadows in your drawing later. If you have finished making the storyboard, you can proceed to the line art stage by simply creating a new layer above the 3D object layer. Here's a preview of my line art process. By using the 3D character model already available in Clip Studio Paint, I no longer have to go through the sketching stage and can proceed directly to the line art process, making my comic creation workflow much faster. And that was a tutorial on drawing using 3D models in Clip Studio Paint. Hope you find it helpful. See you next time. What kind of tutorial would you like to see for the next video?